this session will be very interesting for spine surgeons neurosurgeons in this session we will enter into the core spine surgery or neurosurgery so many of my juniors you keep asking me what are the important tricks techniques for operating intramedullary tumors like ependymoma we'll just focus on ependymoma because ependymoma is well marginated so in ependymoma the outcomes may be good so i've decided that in this session i will give you a brief overview of all the steps of ependymoma surgery in my next sessions in each session will concentrate on one particular step so that by the end of this series maybe 8 9 or 10 videos you will understand each step of surgery with crystal clear clarity so that you can give the best outcomes for our patients we'll be discussing an important step in the surgery for spinal cord tumors the pile retraction sutures this technique learning this technique is very important because spinal cord is very delicate you cannot use hard instruments to retract the columns of the spinal cord but without retraction the normal tissue will be over will be overlapping will come in between come into the field and will not allow you to dissect the tumor properly so you want an effective retraction technique with which at the same time is very delicate and very soft on the nerves of the spinal cord so learn this technique the final pile retraction technique if you have any doubts do not hesitate to ask me at the end of the session or you can also ask me one on one on the either on my whatsapp number or in the interval session so the pile traction sutures by spinal cord tumor surgeries I'm Dr. Kalyan. I'm a neurosurgeon and spine surgeon working in Hyderabad, Glen Eagles Global Hospital. Spinal cord surgeries present challenges due to delicate nature of the spinal cord tissue and the risk of damage to the surrounding structures. Pile traction sutures can improve surgical outcomes and reduce the risk of complications. I needn't elaborate on this one. As a neurosurgeon as a spine surgeon everyone knows that the spinal cord is covered by three layers the dura mater the arachnoid mater and the pia mater in this session we are speaking of the pia mater pia mater is the innermost layer it is very thin and delicate membrane that covers the surface of the spinal cord tissue let me tell you the uh, steps then i will uh, tell you on the uh, surgeon they are placed through the pia mater to gently lift and hold the spinal cord tissue in place during surgery they are typically made of fine non absorbable material such as a pro silk or nylon or proline they are tied off to create a small loop or handle that can be used to provide a traction okay so how do you actually place you identify the area of the spinal cord where the tumor is located look for any swelling in the spinal cord at the area of the maximum swelling you can find the intramedullary tumor use a fine needle to pass a 60 suture through the palm mater being careful not to damage the delicate surrounding tissue tie off the suture to create a small loop or handle that can be used to gently lift and hold the tissues in place repeat the process with several sutures placed along the length of the spinal cord to provide adequate retraction and exposure of the tumor small mosquito clamps or other instruments can be used to provide gentle constant traction of the spinal cord tissue once the sutures are in place so i have taken a still shot so this is the spinal cord i have done a myelotomy so can you look in this picture thin transparent layer which is shining can you see the shining one can can you see the shining one this is adherent to the spinal cord this is the pia mater so i have taken 60 proline i have taken a suture through the pia mater under the magnification provide, provided by microscope and the illumination provided by microscope 
I will not injure the underlying the spinal cord. I take it out and I have sutured it into the arachnoid matter and the dura matter until I get the sufficient retraction. If I have not sutured, I can hold it with mosquito sutures where I can adjust my retraction as my surgery goes on. Once I have placed a one place, I have placed a second suture, I have placed a third suture, I have, if required, I will place a fourth one. So that this technique will provide me retraction. But at the same time, it's very gentle on the spinal cord so that it will not injure the spinal cord, spinal tracts. It will not cause neurological deficits. So what are the advantages? It provides controlled and gentle retraction of the spinal cord tissue minimizing the risk of damage to surrounding structures and nerves. It, it provides an improved visualization of the surgical site, allowing for more precise removal of the tumor. It reduces the complications. But what are the risks? If you are not careful, if you are not experienced, you can damage the delicate spinal cord tissue. And as with any other surgeon, infection and inflammation are common. Thank you.